all right guys let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it i, I need you to do me a favor what is it ma'am i need you to help me talk to sam about his temper this sam is a very good man but his problem is his temper he does things that he won't even listen to reason no matter who's talking to him until he does that which he has in his mind and he will start crying regretting really please help me talk to him it's okay ma'am i'll i'll talk to him i promise i will i know you're always supportive because i'm always the one at fault i have nothing to say now honey let's go let's go let's go now okay ma'am um i have to go now it's okay it was nice meeting you i'll see you some other time okay darling thank right, you bye. so much what are, why not tell me say that one thousand again? Call again, but I don't get change. Okay, I go tell you say that one thousand naira again before you go find change. Give me. Is there anything wrong with you? What I mean, not see me go buy food for that first session now. You don't give me this money. My car is broken. I tell you my business. Say you go buy food, you no get change. I beg give me change. Is there anything wrong with you? Madam, I don't get change. Look at this guy, yo. I don't get change. If you talk that rubbish, my friend, you fourteen naira. Give me. I don't want to give you any money. No money, sit down. Why is there money? Ah, Jesus! Come here, come here, come Sam proposed and I accepted. What? Yes, Daddy. You did what? You heard me. Sam and I are engaged. I am not in support of it. In fact, you can't get married to him. Dad, why can't I marry Sam? Both of you have short feet. Both of Mother said I can't marry you because we are both hot tempered. And that it will be over a dead body for her to give us our consent. What? No, how did she know I'm hot tempered? She saw what happened yesterday. How? I mean, I, I didn't see her. That is not important. What's important right now is for us to let her see reasons with us. What about your father? My father hasn't said anything new. He still thinks we're not compatible. That is what I, I, I don't understand. Why do they think they know us better than we know ourselves? They just keep thinking we're kids. We know what we want and we want each other. Let's just ignore them. They cannot tear us apart. Abigail and I got married in the court. So she's officially my wife now. You got married at the court? Mm -hmm. Samuel, are you out of your mind? Anyway, I will not stay in this house with you and this abomination. You announce it to BBC and CNN before I can get angry. Sam, why are you so impossible? No, you are impossible! Really? I'm impossible? You're the one who keeps talking about this. I just brought it up because we were just talking. It just came out. Listen, let me tell you something. Stop being rigid and listen to corrections, okay? Oh, I'm being rigid? Yes. You're the one who is rigid. It's you that is rigid. Please just get out. As old as you are, you can't even boil, boil, boil common white Excuse rice. Excuse me, sir. Get out of this clean and stop barking like a mad dog. What's your problem? Me? Yes, you. Barking like dog. a mad dog? Yes. What, 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 what is this? Huh? What, what, is what, 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 what is all this? What is it? Why are you combing your hair whilst I'm eating? What sort of question is that? Can't I comb my hair anywhere I like? Go to the bathroom and comb your hair. And you go to the damn dining and eat your food. Who the hell do you think you're talking? I'm talking to you. Does that look like a Yes, I'm talking to you. I, I, I don't care. Jesus. Are you serious right now? Are you, are you, are you, are you serious right now? You smash me. You want, you want to fight me? I left my phone upstairs. Okay. Come and tell me this time, Where are you? My God! Go and separate them now. Eh? I should do what? Go and separate them. Is it not your brother? Sam will not listen to me. So listen if you me. don't know what to talk, I you broke my girl! I will smash you! <laughs> so with this movie Blind Affection, <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know where I'll start with this. I think two of them kind of saw it coming, you know, he had hot temper, she had hot temper, the parents identified that they had hot temper and advised them not to marry, but they went ahead and tied the knot. You know, in relationships, there's always the advantage of one person being a cool-headed person while the other is not. Uh, if the other is not, I might say. Of course, it doesn't always work like that. When two people are of the same 
character traits. It's not always a good thing. And it's evident in this particular scenario that two of them being both hot-headed is not a good idea. I'm not advocating that somebody should own up to the fact that they are full of crap and, you know, now employ their partner to be the good person. If you have bad character traits on you, you know, try to correct them, try to fix it, try to understand that you're dealing with a human being. And there's something that people tend not to realize that everybody sort of kind of has demons in them. Some people are good at suppressing it. Some people, you know, are slow to release their own. And then there's the people that are like, you know, wildfire. Once you touch them, they go off. So those that go off should also understand that those that are calm or those that suppress it, that they are not stupid. They just chose to be a different kind of animal. It doesn't mean that they still don't have that animal instincts in them. The reason I'm saying this is that there's a lot of relationships where there's always one person that's calming the other party down. You know, take it easy, stop being like this, stop doing this. Sometimes it's hard for the, you know, life wire partner to realize that, you know, there's no monopoly on, you know, somebody being bad. But it's definitely a good thing if they could learn to change. It's definitely a good thing if they could see the flaws that they have and fix it. Uh, when two people are life wires, then definitely there's going to be sparks going off the house all the time. I suggest whether you are a life wire or you are not, you know, try to recognize that you're dealing with a human being that understands the tolerance, that understands that endurance, understands patience, and you are supposed to learn from them and not push your flaws on them for them to accept you as it is. So with this movie, guys, you, you guys can see when there's two parties that are going crazy, mad now, but now you are in the same relationship. It always, almost never ends well because one person would at some point forget and inflict pain on the other. Now, before I wrap this up, let's not forget one part. It always seems like parents always interfere when you know their kids want to get married sometimes it's good to actually evaluate their reason so if you have parents that are against you getting married to somebody sometimes it's okay to evaluate the reason why they say this and see if there's some sense in it you know in most cases you might think that they're just opposing you for irrelevant reasons but some of those reasons sometimes are vital you know and should be put into consideration even if two of you will go ahead and get married at least you guys can discuss these problems that were identified and make sure that you come to an understanding that those problems will not affect your marriage now that's all i have for this guys if you guys love this kind of content please subscribe follow like share uh, my name is cj from magnetic studios and again, I'm here to deliver sense.